it's give it a swing outdoors with Smith with an old pair of training shoes or as you call them over the pond uh, sneakers and you're thinking well what's that all about as the title suggests this is a little vlog about the weaver fish a cautionary tale now then back to the training shoes the uh, sneakers when we were lads growing up on the northeast coast at low tide we used to go shrimping and when we were shrimping we used to have these on we, we didn't go in the water in bare feet when the tide was low and the tourists you say what are you wearing them for you in a race and all these all these like naive and, and totally ill-informed comments because there was a reason we had these on and now i'm going to show you why this example here is a greater weaver right then there are two types is the greater and the lesser and um where i grew up and, and, and as a young lad and everything we got the lesser weaver but they're just as poisonous i believe so what we have is this here that's the weaver fish and what I'm gonna do now I'll actually I'll just get a welding glove I don't want to be too cocky you never know it's well dead but right two seconds all right well it's not a welding glove but it'll do the job okay so there he is look bit of an ugly head what happens is these fish they bury themselves in the sand and they lay there until shrimps or small fish come over them then they boom they go up and, and they and they eat them but what they've got as a type of self-defense is this here can you see that i'm pulling that up there? look at that that is the back spine and under there is a poison gland and when you tread on one of these in bare feet this spine comes up and the three prongs stab deep into the flesh of the foot and at the same time inject the poison and i'm told it is absolute agony and i can i can say it must be because i've actually been stung not in my foot I've been stung once in my thumb many years ago by a lesser and once in my little finger a couple of years ago and it was hey look at that it, it's twitching it's just nerves this fish is dead back to the last thing i got was in the little finger and it was absolute agony i mean agony i've never known anything like it and I had to, luckily, in, uh, we, we sailed back into the harbour and there was a place where I could get really hot water out the tap and you've got to soak your hand, put your wound into the water as hot as you can take it, as hot as you can stand. And it took a full hour for the poison to wear off. And the actual infection in the little finger lasted for months and months and months. And even today, after two years, it occasionally itches really deep inside the flesh. God knows why. But let's get back to the fish again because as you can see here on the gill plates that is also a poisonous spine so you can either tread on it or that can flip round and stab, stab you from its gill plate so it's got a quite a quite a good defense system nasty fish however they taste real good So I've decided I'm going to fill it this and make a film of it. That's what I'm doing because that's the sort of bloke I am. There we are. Fill it in knife coming up. And as you might be able to hear in the distance, there's a bit of thunder. I think there's a storm coming. Oh, all right then. So to fill it, it's quite easy because you don't need to take the guts out or anything. So you just slice the knife across its back here, across its rib cage. You don't need to go into the rib cage because there's no meat there. And you just follow the line right down.
and there is one nice clean fillet and just do it like you do goujons in, in breadcrumbs or you could just do it in meal uh, flour if you wanted salt pepper flour is good also egg and breadcrumbs marvelous but either way a delicious fish the, these the smaller ones that we get where I come from over in England the, we didn't eat those they were just too small there was there was no way you'd get enough meat out of them but these greater weaver are a lot bigger and you get a really nice nice fillet come on come on I need to sharpen my knives I can see feel there we are so that's one fish gives these two nice fillets so if you get quite a few of these fish as you can imagine you get a nice a nice meal or a few meals if you catch enough if you're lucky enough to